we have uh, uh, what you see around us is the uh, uh, security forces housing, the police housing. We have here in this project 320 units, uh, two two bedroom and three bedroom uh, apartments, which all in into uh, 20 uh, residential buildings. Uh, what you see here around us in this uh, uh, project, we have uh, 20 uh, uh, residential buildings and we have one community uh, center building and uh, kindergarten, uh, playground and all the, the facilities uh, in, in this uh, project. Uh, currently we are working on uh, 16 uh, buildings at a time. Some of them are in final uh, stage uh, of finishing and some of them are on uh, foundation uh, and uh, structure uh, uh, level. Um, and this is, this is basically what, uh, 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 what, uh, what we are doing in this project and uh, hopefully by uh, December 2022 we'll be complete with uh, uh, all the works in this uh, project which is the residential buildings, the public buildings, the asphalt roads and uh, uh, green area parks and uh, uh, football courts and uh, tennis courts which we have inside uh, uh, the neighborhood and we have also all the sites surrounded with the fence wall uh, uh, with two meter fence wall and uh, uh, gates for, uh, for security wise uh, and all the infrastructure, water supply, drainage, electricity, uh, uh, communication all underground uh, uh, systems uh, uh, that will help uh, uh, maintain the look of the project, make it look be uh, better, all, everything is underground and uh, to, to, to improve the quality of uh, the project itself. Currently, it is estimated that we have a, a housing deficit in excess of 2 million housing units. But this particular project, the it's a 32 housing unit project and you can see that uh, it's not going to uh, change drastically but it's a step forward as far as the security services are concerned and uh, for the police in particular this is a very major progress it's going to increase the housing stock for our men and women in the police service but government is also planning several other programs with the aim of reducing the rather huge housing deficits. And very soon you'll be hearing from me regarding a new government affordable housing program that will also contribute significantly towards reducing the housing deficit. But this one is a very giant step as far as accommodation for Ghana police uh, service is concerned.